welcome, Mr. Ken. Well, hello there. Did the party start? We couldn't start without you. I'll change and come back then. All right, Mr. Ken. Happy birthday, Celine. Thank you so much. Ken! Happy birthday. Where have you been? I thought you wouldn't make it. The flight was delayed, but I made it. How can I miss my sister's birthday? Mm. So how was Paris then? It was wonderful. You should have seen the beautiful models there. I'll tell you all about it later. By the way, your gift is in the car. Mm. Huh? Hello. Welcome, son. Good to see you. How was it? Pretty good, Mom. First of all, let me put it this way. You'll love the colors of the new season. <laughs> Did you come together? I didn't know you knew each other. Of course we do. I mean, we work in the same place, after all. Anna is actually an old friend of mine from the Academy. Really, then? It's so good of you to come. Happy birthday, Celine. Thank you so much. There was no need for this. Oh, well, it's really not that much, but it's from us. <laughs> You'll need it for when you learn how to swim. If I can manage that, of course. Oh, you will. AJ. Can you please take this inside for me? Of course, and your mother is waiting for you to cut the cake. All right, I'm coming. Enjoy yourselves, okay? I'll stop by again later. Oh, that poor dress she's wearing. What do you mean? I mean Celine's dress. That dress must have cost a fortune. But it doesn't look good on her. What is it? Nothing. Of course, it's a beautiful dress. It's not a cheap one like mine. It's not cheap. We paid 300 liras for that dress. It's cheap compared to hers. Darling, listen. You'd even look good in a sack. You're more beautiful than anyone at this party. Keep on making fun of me. Go on, then. My arm hurts. I don't know why. Psst. I didn't recognize your friends over there. Hmm. Oh, them? Hmm. They're from the club. One is my tennis teacher. The other is my swimming teacher. Your swimming teacher? Mm-hmm. I'm learning how to swim. Come on, you. <laughs> Seriously? What happened? Oh, nothing. What a nice club that is. Why don't you take me, too? Okay, just stand still for a minute. <laughs> just look at this place. How come they are so rich? What do they do for a living? They have a lot of companies. Construction, textile, a little bit of yeah, everything. It's, it's incredible. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Thank you. So are you a paparazzi now? <sighs> I want a house like this, too. Well, you can wish. But things like that don't happen by wishing. I read something somewhere. If you want something very much, if you keep dreaming about it, the whole universe mobilizes to help you get what you want. Oh, really? What good do the pictures do then? They say it's always better to be precise while you dream about what you want. This is a cold comfort. If all was resolved by dreaming. You'll dream first so that the rest will follow. Nothing happens without dreaming. 
All right. If you really say so. It's such a great party. I hope you're not bored. No way. Everything's so nice. You did well. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Shall we dance then? Of course. I'm Ken, Celine's brother. Hello, I'm Anna. I'm her tennis teacher. Celine told me so. She told me that you're very good. I started playing tennis way before Celine did, when I was just 10. Then I got distracted by other things in life. Really? What a pity. Maybe it's not a coincidence we met here tonight. Maybe it's about time I started back up again. Maybe so. So start if you feel like it. No one's stopping you. I believe in signs. Would you like to dance? Me? <laughs> no, thank you. I don't like dancing. Uh, I see a friend of mine right there. I'll see you later, Ken. I just can't believe Celine. Just look at her. She looks as if nothing has happened to her. After all that has happened, it's really a miracle. You're so very right about that, my dear. But she's a very strong girl. She is. But so is Natalia. She's been going through a lot, but she's still standing, and I don't know how she does it. She's managing work and family and doing it with such grace. you're here. Where did you go? You left without saying goodbye to her. <sighs> Wasn't it you who wanted to come to the party? What's with the face now? Oh, come on. Can you put yourself in my shoes? What were you doing in there? What's that? Anna, don't start again. You're really starting to upset me. It's you who's upsetting me, so don't be surprised to see me go because of it. <sighs> don't say stupid things. Just be careful. All right, let's walk. What are you doing? Stop it. We're going to the party, hand in hand. We'll tell them we're lovers and tell them to watch out because we don't care who knows about our love. Then we get kicked right out of the club. I don't care about the club. If this upsets you so much. Fine, what can I do? Not get jealous? I just love you a lot. Don't be jealous because there's no need. Do you understand? <laughs> 